Hi, I'm Skylar. If you're having trouble with your CD or DVD drive on, well, technically your Super Drive on your MacBook Pro or Mac Mini, whatever it is, there's a really good troubleshooting article on Apple's website. It's uh, support.apple.com slash kb slash ht2801. So this helps you to determine what exactly is going on. So let's say the drive doesn't accept disks, or the drive accepts disks that they do not mount or are automatically ejected. The drive doesn't eject disks, or disks eject slowly. The drive is noisy or vibrates, or the drive scratches media. So this has got troubleshooting steps for any of those possible scenarios. One thing I always check on with a customer is, is there anything jammed in the, in the drive? Because that can be the primary issue. You might find that there's a business card stuck in there, for example, or some other foreign object, or even a disk that didn't eject properly. Now, if you've been a longtime Mac user, you may remember an emergency eject port that was next to the floppy disk drive. It was actually a very small hole, and you would take a paper clip and stick it in there, and that would force the disk to eject. And that small hole was present on lots of computers up until I stopped seeing them maybe six or seven years ago. The emergency eject function is actually now in the trackpad. So if you think that there's something stuck in there, or you can't get a disk to read or eject, restart the computer while pressing and holding the trackpad button. That will force the disk to eject. That's probably going to solve 90% of people's problems. But you never find out about it from materials or anything like that. So here I am telling you, that's how you get a disk out of the drive. That's probably the first and best thing to do. If you do successfully get the disk out of your drive, or say that wasn't the problem in the first place, but you can't use it, you might try resetting the SMC. SMC controls power to lots of different devices within the computer. So here's another support article that tells you exactly how to reset the SMC. It's a little bit more complicated, but it's about four steps long. You'll find that you can very simply reset the SMC. You may hear your fans spin up and get quite loud for a moment as it figures out what's the baseline for the computer. But this can rectify a lot of potential issues. So try to eject whatever foreign material may be in there. Reset the SMC. And if neither of those two things work, you may want to schedule a service appointment, uh, preferably at the Genius Bar, because they would tell you what's going on for free. Uh, beyond that, your diagnostic process and repair process becomes quite technical. So give those two things a shot. Go see the geniuses. Thanks for watching. I'm Skyline.